हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू येट एन अदर लर्निंग वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डी कोड यू एस पी जर्नल चैप्टर नंबर फोर्टी वन एंड द टाइटल ऑफ यू एस पी जर्नल चैप्टर नंबर फोर्टी वन इज बैलेंसेज सो हु एवर इज वर्किंग इन द फार्मा इंडस्ट्री मस्ट एंड शुड बी अवेयर ऑफ द रिक्वायरमेंट्स विच आर मैंशन इन द यू एस पी जर्नल चैप्टर नंबर फोर्टी वन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न दैट वट आर द बैलेंस कैलकुलेशन पैरामीटर्स विच आर मैंशन इन द यू एस पी जर्नल चैप्टर नंबर फोर्टी वन एंड हाउ दो टेस्ट पैरामीटर्स आर परफॉर्म एंड वट आर देयर एक्सेप्टेंस लिमिट्स along with this we will also learn that what is the smallest net weight or uh, minimum weight and how the smallest net weight is calculated so let's get started without any further delay the very first statement which is written in the usp journal chapter number 41 says that if you want to weigh any material accurately then weighing shall be performed using a balance which is calibrated over the operating range and meets the requirements of repeatability and accuracy as mentioned in the usp journal chapter number 41 Let us understand this statement with the help of an example. Suppose we have to weigh any of these one material accurately using this balance. So before using this balance, I have to make sure that this balance is meeting the requirements of repeatability and accuracy as mentioned in the USP Journal Chapter Number Forty One. In USP Journal Chapter Number Forty One, there are two balance calibration parameters are given, and those are repeatability and accuracy. Now let us see how these test parameters are performed. Firstly, we will learn about the repeatability. To perform repeatability test, a single test weight is selected and it is weighed again and again for ten times. Now the standard deviation is calculated for these ten weights, and then obtained standard deviation value is entered in this formula to get the repeatability results. So this is the formula for repeatability test. 2 into standard deviation divided by smallest net weight into 100 the obtained value should not more than 0.10% so this is the limit for the repeatability test that is not more than 0.10% in this formula sd means standard deviation this value can be taken from the weight print and as we know that the modern day balances automatically calculate standard deviation value now come the smallest net weight This is calculated by this formula. Smallest net weight equal to 2000 into standard deviation. Suppose standard deviation is equal to 0.00015. Then the smallest net weight will be equal to 2000 into this value. This will be equal to 0.3 gram, or we can say that 300 milligram. In addition to this, we should always remember one important point that if in case standard deviation is less than 0.41 d. then to calculate the smallest net weight formula will be smallest net weight equal to 2000 into 0.41d so in this formula d is called as scale interval or the readability it means the smallest value that is indicated or displayed by the balance now the question is what is the significance of smallest net weight so answer to this question is smallest net weight will determine the operating range of your balance means if you have calculated smallest net weight as 300 mg then you cannot take any weight which is below 300 mg and remember one more important point that smallest net weight is always calculated from the repeatability test so this was all about the repeatability test now comes the second test parameter which is mentioned in the usp journal chapter number 41 and that is accuracy so let us see how accuracy test is performed well to perform accuracy test a single test weight is selected and uh, its weight is measured after that accuracy is calculated with the help of this formula certificate weight minus observed weight divided by certificate weight into 100 the obtained value should not be more than plus or minus 0.10% now the question arises that how much weight we should select to carry out accuracy test so answer to this question is any weight between 5 to 100% capacity of the balance can be taken for the accuracy test and here you can see this statement is mentioned in usp journal chapter number 41 here so this was all about the accuracy test so guys this was all about today's video so let us quickly revise what we have learned today so today we have learned five thing related to balance calibration which are mentioned in the usp journal chapter number 41 the number one thing is 
As per USP Journal Chapter Number Forty One, there are two test parameters of a balance calibration, and those are repeatability and accuracy. Number two, repeatability test is performed by weighing single test weight for ten times, and standard deviation is calculated. But in case of accuracy test, single test weight is weighed, and then obtained value is compared with the certificate value. Point number three. Both the repeatability and the accuracy test have acceptance criteria not more than zero point one zero percent. Point number four: smallest net weight is calculated from the repeatability test, and the formula for the smallest net weight is equal to two thousand into standard deviation. This standard deviation value is obtained from the repeatability test, and if in case standard deviation value is less than zero point four one d, then the formula for the smallest net weight becomes. 2000 into 0.41d here d is called as scale interval or the readability this d will tell you that how much minimum value a balance can read so next time whenever you will do weighing in the lab then check your balance screen carefully you will find a d value displayed on the balance screen and one more important point which we have learned today is that smallest net weight will help us in determining the operating range of a balance Now comes the last point which we have learned today, and that is the point number five. So, to carry out accuracy test, test weight should be between five to hundred percent of the balance capacity. So, guys, this was all about today's video. Hope you have learned something new today. Before winding up today's video, let me tell you one thing: that in next video we will decode USP Journal Chapter Number Twelve Fifty One. Till then, stay tuned to Pharma Pill. Bye bye and happy learning.